Welcome to Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Hurricanes, a program that has been built on flash, excitement, swagger, even once a gold turnover team. But the fundamentals of this program, substance. We'll have plenty of substance and swagger from the Canes today. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the MAC, the Ball State Cardinals, taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Mike. Cardinals will kick it away to start us off. On the run from inside his own five. Now he's just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Miami's offense will take the first swing of the game. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Wants to throw. It's Ward. Didn't have much of a choice. Just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Canes will send out the punt unit. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They've got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. So the Ball State Cardinals offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Power football with the run. Finds a crease at the 20. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. They're going to ride this running back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Grabbed over the middle at Simmons. And he laid the lumber to stop it from getting the first down. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third down, going up top, using his legs to buy some time. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit from the right hash. And this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. That is no good. Kicker tried to attack a few more on the scoreboard, guys, but couldn't do it. Here comes the offense on first down. And that's just the chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking to pass, it's Ward. Working the middle of the field and it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little brown to cover to pick up the first. Touch pass on the run. And the Hurricanes get it past the sticks. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Leaves it with the running back. 
A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Here on third down for this offense. To the ground to try to move the chains. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. And the Canes are on the move. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. The give from the gun. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll line up for a second down play. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. The Hurricanes will have it first and ten. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying play action. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. And this defense gets the first sack. And listen, it is so important to hit the QB, to affect the QB. Last week only had two sacks for this defense. they got to continue to put pressure and get that guy to the ground. Twelfth play of the drive coming up, but they've got a long way to go here on third down to throw. It's Ward. He's got his man across the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And the Canes are in the red zone. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. At the end of the game, you look at the third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Might as well stick with him drives into the defense and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Third and long and he'll try to throw for it. And the timing just a hair off. And now on fourth down they'll try a field goal. The holder will put it down on the right hash, a 33-yard try. Splits the uprights. Good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. Out of the gun to give to the back. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The inside handoff. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. 
They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. And wings it incomplete. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And the Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. On the move, it's Kelly. Quick strike complete. And he'll be marked down right there, still short of the first down. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sideline, it's Presley. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Takes it from the gun on third down. And he's lucky to get that one back. This junior quarterback knows better than to try that too often. The Cardinals will call on their punt team. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Solid pick up of four on first down. It's second and six. Hand off from the gun. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll run it. The Canes get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll turn to Martinez. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads it left. Rolls it in. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Jukes his way for more. Gets it past the marker. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And this offense has got it all working, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a uh, bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this rhythm. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Got it behind the line. It's George. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Hurricanes with the first and ten. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. Personal foul. Personal foul. Face face to defense. defense. You might get away with grabbing just about anything except the face mask. Got to keep those hands below the face mask. Got some room in it to the goal line. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Hurricane! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, train the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn. And that's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they're executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. 
Texas has a lead right now in Austin, but I'm not sure Bevo's feeling like this one's in the clear. This has been a nip and tuck affair all game. They're up by seven over UTSA. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Back to pass, it's Kelly. And the pass is incomplete, charged loose by the hit. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. And the Cardinals will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Line gets set, first down. Motion from the offense. Martinez on the carry. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Crooch, crooch, defense, defense. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. The gift to the back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. On second down, he'll let it fly. Completes it in the middle. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Royal. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. And he's got it! Touchdown, Miami! No step back in week three. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 17. Ball state zero. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. Got the first down and more. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Looking to move it through the air. Wide open downfield. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. To the air, it's Kelly. He's got an open man. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. At the 36, that's a first down for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Short gain on the play before he slides. Here comes the offense on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Got his man out of the backfield. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. It's complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. They'll immediately call timeout. Just a few seconds to go here in the first half, and they'll send out the field goal team. Oh, he missed it. No good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific start from there in beautiful Miami Gardens. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in the shadows of South Beach. And the Canes will boot it away to start the second half. And he's going to bring it out. And they make the tackle on the return. There is a penalty marker on the play, and they might be backing up a bit. I'm not sure he knew he had the face mask there, tried to let it go in time, but couldn't. It's a penalty on the defense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run it from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And the Cardinals hit it quickly to the line. Looking to throw, it's Kelly. He finds his man. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you could do there. It's now a fresh set of hands. The give to the back. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Cardinals will punt this one away. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll give it on the counter. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Got three on first down at second and seven. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. A strike downfield. Bulldozes his way through. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. That kind of play is just vintage hurricane receiver play. I mean, big time playmakers on the outside. The list is long for Miami, but finding those elite speedsters down in the state of Florida, it's not a hard job. This offense has a second down play. Back to throw, it's Ward. Quickly complete. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Hurricanes will snap it on first and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. 
Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he's dragged down. And listen, I'm just trying to find a way to be positive down here. Have positive games, not run, you know, QB sneaks and halfback dives. Get the football on the perimeter with somebody with some speed and maybe catch you off guard. It wasn't a, it wasn't a great play, but I got some positive yards out of it. About to have the ninth snap on this drive. You don't want to settle for a field goal. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. Gets it out quickly. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring it full. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth thing. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped up to 17. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. From the gun, the running back working for room. And the ball's on the ground. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Fumbles are great when you force them. That you're always thinking about as a defensive player. Man, when the weather conditions start to come down, it starts to rain, and you know that ball's a little bit slick, and you know more runs are coming. You really try to get to that football. Nice job getting the football out, falling on top of it, forcing the turn. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. They'll leave it with him. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Back to throw. It's Ward. Gets it out fast. Got enough space. Touchdown, K. And the stomping has commenced. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Texas is trailing, but they are within striking distance. Kind of like when Major Applewhite turned a huge deficit in the 2001 Holiday Bowl into a win. Maybe today is deja vu. It's a tight one right now. They're trailing by only five to UTSA. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. Open runway ahead. Just like that. A huge gain, and they've got it inside the 10. They'll mark it at the 8. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. But when you get down here inside the red zone, you got to be able to run the football. And it's one thing to do it conventionally, but I like the idea of mixing it up and trying to go jet sweep. They come to the line on third and goal, looking for their first points of the day. On the run, it's Kelly getting some heat, moving out to the right. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Cardinals! Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. 
They'll try to tack one more on their score. Blitz the uprights. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They'll run the RPO at fourth right. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Looking to throw on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Restrepo. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for him. And the Caves send out the punt unit. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. So the first play of the drive will come from the 43. Leaves it with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll go right back to it. And brought down, looks as if that's how we'll end the third. Trying to pick up a first down. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. Miami, 27, Ball State, 7. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. A third down try for the offense. To the air, it's Kelly. Unloads to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And the Cardinals want to move quickly. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just let... And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. I know this defense feels like they missed some opportunities. Yeah, they had two sacks their last game out, but they feel like they left a bunch more out on the field, and they wanted to try to get to the quarterback in this game. That was finally the first time they registered a sack so far here. Curious to see how this pass rush looks the rest of the way. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. And the missed connection on third down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Looking down the middle. Makes a catch past the sticks. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. Well, I think the experience on offense was a big reason why the head coach felt confident going for it there on fourth down. He says a lot of guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've been in these big game moments before. Ice in their veins. You saw it there on that completion to keep the sticks moving. Looking to throw it again. This one's complete. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. And they make the stop, and this offense has it inside the five, and they are threatening. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Ball State. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground, and that was pay dirt. He'll try to tack on one more. Bangs it through for an extra point. 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Oh, and the ball's out on the return. Almost a disaster on that return. They jump on it, and they'll maintain possession. First down here for the offense. Oof, that, that's a breathing a sigh of relief for sure. Kick returner tries to take it out, puts it on the ground, but how about the offense getting back on it, turning a what could have been a really bad play into, thank goodness I got the ball. To the air, it's Ward. Catch open down the middle. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He wants to throw. Got his man quickly. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. They'll turn to Martinez. Tackled, but he has a first down. The Canes are flying down the field. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Hand off to the lone back. Got the first down. Looking for more. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And the Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going. You're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Back to pass, it's Ward. Fires to the end zone. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. So his field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Never a doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he's coming out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Wide receiver shows motion. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Presley. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way. But we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Third down play from the gun. It's caught downfield. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. The Cardinals want to crank the tempo. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Now on second down. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Down to the 23 for this first and 10.
An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. He's got his man. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he is got And the defense, they've got him at the 27. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down set. Deep shot for the end zone. Fires and picked off. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got to lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT almost put this one away. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead there. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. They'll try the run. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Canes line up to punt it away. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game. The defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air, it's Kelly. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He's going to pass. Got him downfield. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. And the Cardinals will hustle to the line. Every second is meaningful, and they save a few of them with the spike. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. Snapped it in the shotgun. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete. And this defense makes a fourth down stop. 
Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. They won the game today. That's two in a row. If they win the next one, it's called a winning streak. It's been done before. And we're seeing the identity of this team come into fruition. You just get the sense they're finding out who they are, what they're about, what they're going to do schematically, and who their big playmakers are. Which is tough to do, right? It's tough to grow throughout a season and understand who you are. But when you stack wins week after week on top of each other and start to have success, you start to grow as an identity and you start to understand who you are. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.